Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Tonight, a major development in the killing of two sisters in Rome. Three men are now charged with murdering them. So back in May, the bodies of the 19-year-old and 31-year-old were found tossed from a bridge with bags over their heads. John Sherrick is on the story for us tonight with the very latest on the investigation live from the headquarters of GBI in DeKalb County. And Aisha, the GBI says the investigation's not over yet. More arrests are likely in addition to the three men who are now in jail. Investigators gathered in Rome to announce the three arrests. Three men accused of murdering sisters Vanita Richardson and Truvenia Campbell in May and tossing the women from a bridge to the banks of the Etowa River below. This has been a hideous crime in our city. Rome Police Chief Denise Downer McKinney and GBI investigators say each of the men is facing several charges in addition to murder. 28 year old Desmond Levanta Brown, 36 year old Devin LaShawn Watts, and 23 year old Christopher Lee Darius Pullen. The sisters' bodies discovered under the bridge May 13th. GBI Special Agent in Charge Joe Montgomery telling us then. They had bags over their head at the time. They'd obviously been dropped from the bridge. And Vanita's car, like this one, one was missing. Investigators now say they found the car. It was in the city of South Fulton. The sisters extended families and friends, grieving, unable to understand who would hurt them or why. Vanita, just about to graduate from our Murchie High School, friends calling her fun-loving, humble, excited about her future. Vanita and Truvenia as close as twins, always together. Truvenia had had epilepsy since infancy, and Vanita watched out for her. Then, the night of May 12th, they went out in Vanita's car. Their body Bodies found the next morning. Investigators not disclosing if the sisters and the suspects knew each other or what led up to the homicides or what the motive was. And GBI Director Vic Reynolds says this is an exhaustive investigation involving more than 130 court orders and search warrants, leading investigators to the three men now in jail. And again, the GBI says more arrests are likely. All right, John, thank you. Hopefully this gives that family some peace. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.